All right, friends, it's time for a hot sauce review. Today, we're gonna go over Stargazer hot sauce. Let's take a look at Stargazer hot sauce. It's brought to, it's brought to you by Pepper North. Artisan Foods, I have no idea. That could be anything. The artwork is cool. I mean, you say stargazer, you see this image. Stargazing, I think, eh? Pretty cool. The heat index underneath here. Oh, uh, uh, oh my gosh. Yeah, whatever, it's all dried. I'll just take a picture of it and then... Just... Boom! So I'll slap it right in there for you. 148 milliliters sauce piquant. It has a little bit of a Dias de la Muertes kind of theme vibe feeling to it with the ah, hands up, you know, cool, cool stuff like that. Uh, artwork looks pretty good. It says uh -oh, ultra hot sriracha style. And it looks like it's rating a 9 out of 10. I'll be the judge of that. Uh, nutrition facts, <laughs> it's hot sauce. It's got no nutritional value. It's not anti-nutrition, but it's not nutrition. So it's not a bowl of ice cream. Uh, ingredients, pepper mash, peppers, distilled vinegar. Oh wait, that should be read together. Peppers and distilled vinegar. Apple cider vinegar. I don't know if you've had apple cider vinegar by itself, but it's, uh, yeah, pass, thanks. Uh, sugars, uh, it, maple syrup. That'll be interesting. Should be sweet. Lime juice, garlic, sea salt, reaper powder, chipotle powder. So they, it looks like they use powders and a pepper mash between peppers and uh, distilled vinegar. I'll be interested. Now, I guess, uh, let's get right into it. Oh, life hack. You know, I meant to do this. Uh, who am I? Why well, am I excited for myself? I'm, I'm alone in my home right now. Um... You know how you like well, you have to pick those off, like this black label stuff. Turns out if you just oh this one's even going to be easier. Just unscrew the top. <laughs> Genius. Sometimes though, if it, that, that doesn't work, like when you take it off, you can just easily pull it off afterwards. So none of that peeling stuff, don't kind of stuff. Shake it up. That's a real Banksy, by the way. It's crooked. Because uh, that's how big of a deal I am. I think one of my uh, these hairs just made its way into the sauce. First impressions? It's got a good smell. My mouth's watering a little bit. Might be a little spicy. I can't smell it anymore. We're going to go in with a taco chip. Now, I mean, I could do a spoonful of sauce to really get into it, but I'm not at that level yet. So I'm just going to go pour. I'll check the consistency. It's always interesting to see. Oh, not too shabby. It's not, it's not pure liquid. It's not like a really thin sauce, so that's nice. It's like a tang. I'm going to think that's the apple cider vinegar. The heat hits the back of the throat a little bit. Not so much on the tongue, but the probably the vinegar really was there right away. I'm not going to be doing any more reading, so I don't need my glasses. Uh, they probably make me look really, really smart, though. You know, pretty big deal. Uh... After the first hit, I'd say the heat's, I mean, it's got heat. Back of the throat. And I feel like that's probably more of the powder that does that than it is uh, the actual mash. It's sitting, it's sitting in there, but there's no magic happening right now. We'll go, we'll go really big. Oh gosh, you can see from underneath, saturation levels are high. It 
so the heat's a bit on the tip of the tongue now. Getting to the back of the throat again. Definitely feeling the heat now. Salivating a little bit. Um, hmm. I feel like it has heat now. Definitely salivating a lot, which I'm liking. You're probably not liking the, the sounds I'm making, but... Uh, I'd probably say it's about maybe a five, a generous six on the tip of my tongue. It's evident. Oddly enough, though, it's like tip of the tongue, right to throat, but nothing really in between. Not on the lips at all. Although I didn't really put it on my lips. I'm not, I'm not applying it like a lipstick. It's got a whole novel on the side here. Let's take a quick moment to read what Pepper North has decided to put on their label. What, what have they found is important for me to know. Pepper North cranks up the heat index with their multi-award-winning Stargazer hot sauce. Renowned across the globe for its unrelenting heat. Mm. Renowned across the globe for its unrelenting heat. This unique blend of peppers has long been feared and reviled. Reveled? Reviled. R-E-V-I-L-E-D? Who cares? Reviled. <laughs> Pairing super hot peppers with hints of citrus and maple syrup, this blazing hot sriracha inspired sauce will have you looking to the stars for relief. Let's go, Jabba, please. No, it's not necessary. Uh, try it on your own favorite foods when you want to seriously crank up that heat. The amount I'm salivating is, is pretty good. So that's nice. It now, right, sriracha, it definitely has a sriracha feeling like element to it. Uh, I can't say I'm really getting the maple. Let's let's adjust the palette. Let's calibrate. Let's try and taste maple. Can I taste maple? <laughs> Hints of citrus and maple. Okay. There's hint, oops, there's hints of citrus. I'm not getting the maple. I've got maple right here. Mm, mm. Let's just slap some maple on here and see. This is a bad idea. Yeah, I can, yeah. Because it's gonna, no. Oh, yeah, that. No, my camera's up. Off for me. What you can't do is, um, you, you can't. You can't really scoop maple syrup off of um, a flat surface, it turns out, with a tortilla. It's not going to stop me from trying, though. All I'm doing is... I don't want to do, <laughs> every so often, the heat just hits me in the back of the throat in my saliva. It's, I'm choking on my own saliva. Um, I'm trying, but this... Uh... <sighs> Look at this. This is so stupid. Look at just because as if you need a visual to show you how ineffective scooping this stuff is. Never mind that the camera's, uh, I'll, I'll come back. I'll come back. Just cleaning up my work surface. Just cleaning it. There's a hole in my sock. 
Don't you hate that when you have a hole in your sock and you can feel it on the bare floor? It's just like that weird space. Who cares? I cleaned up the table. I have an idea. Hold on. I should probably. Why is it? Oh my gosh. That's Banksy. Better. Okay. My battery is getting low. I have another idea. I have an idea. Ooh. Hi. Check this out. Guess what I have in my hands? Sriracha. I'm going to do a comparison video, but one of these is the real one. But check it out. If this sauce here is uh, sriracha style with maple. Oh, boy. Yeah. You can put this together yet? Oh. Yeah. We can do this. I can make my own stargazer. Let's go to the stars. I have a little... I can Let's just get to... Oh. <laughs> That's a thing. Yep. Oh. Spoon for stirring. Okay, going in. I think I started swallowing before I started chewing and tasting. Uh, errors have been made. Try that again. Turns out the syrup and the sriracha aren't coming together. It's like oil and vinegar. Syrup and sriracha. No. Tastes like mostly sriracha with a hint of um, knockoff maple syrup. I'm not even sure if that's real maple syrup. Do one more. Well, hmm. all right, conclusion, stargazer pepper from, let's try it. <clears throat> that would make you think that it's hotter than it is. I want to warn you, it's not, but it is, it's probably like the powder in it, I think is, is kind of kicking me. It's hanging around, hanging, <laughs> hanging around the back of the throat. Anyways, Stargazer from Pepper North. Ultra hot, sriracha style, hot sauce, sauce piquant. He does, by their standard, nine out of 10. I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna say six out of 10. And the reason why I'm not going higher is because I don't, it, it's got spice, it's got heat, It's could get there. It's no assault, there's no heat assault. Some hot sauces, uh, they're, they're brutal. They get brutal, and this isn't brutal. This is okay though. It's got good heat. The flavor is okay. Um, it's not award winning. I wouldn't throw it in the garbage. Like I would eat this. I'm going to, I'm gonna add it to salsa right away as an additive. Um, it might be good on eggs. I feel like, I'd, actually this would be really good on eggs. I, th I think something like that would be a good additive to eggs. Um, artwork, I'm gonna give this a, a seven out of 10. I actually think this is pretty solid and I might be a little cheap with the rating. I mean, it's not award-winning artwork, but we'll have to establish that skill as we go. So artwork, seven out of 10, heat, six out of 10. Overall, no flavor. 
six. So six for flavor, six for heat, 6.5 for flavor, six for heat, seven for artwork. Overall, seven. It's good. Not awesome. Not bad. We'll have again. I don't know what the price tag is, so I can't speak to the value. So, bottoms up.